So the other day I got an email from a woman I've never met before asking me if I wanted to do a review of an air fryer for my YouTube channel. So I said, yeah, if you like. So here's my review on the Bagot air fryer. This is the Bagot 4.5 litre air fryer. I don't really know much about air fryers, so I looked up on the internet. What they basically are is a healthier alternative to deep fat frying. So myself and Steve the firefighter have come down to the beach to have a look at it and learn, get to know, really befriend this air fryer. Steve, um, you're a firefighter. I imagine deep fat fryers are the bane of your life. Do they cause about fires? I think they used to. I think with uh people pushing to be more healthy nowadays. We don't see so many of them, do you? No. Deep fat frying's kind of died to death. Do you know anything about air fryers? No, I've never heard of them. All right. Uh, not till I met the bag up. <laughs> we should give it a name, shouldn't we? Let's call it Horace. Okay. Okay, so I feel we've had a nice morning with our air fryer. We got to know Horace as we walk around and enjoy the atmosphere by the seaside. So now we're gonna do what I think is called on the internet as an unboxing, which makes means you take it out of the box. So uh, the good thing I've noticed already about the Bagot air fryer is it has a handle, a handy handle. I carried it out to the car like this. When Steve picked up, he used the handle. I've got to say, it seemed much better. How was the handle for you? Sturdy. Yeah. Sturdy, yeah. yeah. Really good handle if you're carrying it around. Now we open it from this bit here. We're lifting it up. Ooh. <laughs> There's more cardboard. This is why the handle was so sturdy. It was so carefully put behind it. <laughs> uh, and, and straight away we've got what appears to be some instructions for the air fryer. Tell us all about the air fryer and how it works. So let's have a little look here. So what I can gather from my brief look at the instructions is you put food in the basket, you set the temperature and the time and then you start it cooking and then it cooks your food and then you get it out and eat it. So I'm not sure you need that many instructions for it but it's good they're so thorough. Right here is an air fryer recipe book and we'll cook something from this in a minute. You can do quite a lot of stuff here. French toast, beef jerky, spicy grilled cheese, sweet potato fries. There's actually quite a lot of things, quite a lot more things than I thought you'd be doing. Steak for heaters, chicken drumsticks. Air yeah, fry might be the best in the world. <laughs> chips, that's what I, I knew you could do chips. Steve, why don't you have a look through here and see if you can find something that we can cook. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert, I've got some chicken already. So if there's anything with chicken in it, that might be quite useful. Cornish hen, if you're yeah. from Cornwall. Yeah, just notice that. Yeah. An entire chicken. I don't think we'll start with that. So anyway, you open this up, some what is called foam. Is that called foam? Styrofoam, is that the word? Polystyrene. Polystyrene. There's some polystyrene in there. And then you get to the actual air fryer. Let's have a look. Ooh. <laughs> in a plastic bag, you've got to be careful with plastic bags. You can't put your head in it or you'll die. Um, just don't do that. I'm going to take this protective plastic off and here's the lid and it says how long it takes to do things on its roof. Do chicken nuggets, steak, poultry, fish. Generally you're looking at between the 8 to 30 minutes for pretty much whatever you want to cook that's on the top anyway. And here is the handle thing, it's got a protective thing like you know when you're on a, look at that Steve, you know when you're on like Top Gun or something when <laughs> When people have a thing over the missile thing, they have to flick it up to fire it. It's got one of those. You do that, press that. There you go. It's got tape to hold it in place. Hang on. Flip that up. Press this. Ooh, and the thing comes out. And that is the basket you're going to put your food in. Absolutely magnificent stuff. 
We can't test it here because there's no electricity on the beach. So should we go home and cook some food? Yeah. Have you picked a recipe? Uh, how about air fried buffalo chicken? Marvellous. We haven't got any buffalo, so let's go and slay one. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen now. We've got uh, the Bagots air fryer here. Horace uh, looking absolutely magnificent. It's time for his debut uh, performance. So what we've got here, we're making the fried buffalo chicken uh, that Steve chose from the recipe book. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, we've got a bowl of chicken, it's chicken. We've got a bowl of yogurt and hot sauce and an egg, which is in there. And we've got a bowl of breadcrumbs mixed with uh, pepper and, oh, I didn't put any salt in it, let me put some salt in it. That'll do. Um, so a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and some um, chili peppery type things. And we're gonna um, just give that a little mix. And we're gonna dip the chicken into there, into there, and then we're gonna put it in through the uh, air fryer. First of all though, we need to find out how the air fryer works. So first stage, are we ready? For, this is the inaugural plugging in of the product. Here we go. Ooh. It will beep once the screen will flash. Press the power button and the program will be in standby status. Touch screen. Wow, look at that. Yeah. It's like the future is in our kitchen. And now Steve, we're gonna do the chickening. So put it in there, into yep. the yogurt. into the breadcrumbs, and then into the tray here. Okay. Let's get going. All of it, yeah? All of it, I think, yeah. We'll, um, we'll do this, we'll speed it up with some music while, um, while we're doing this, because otherwise it'll take too long. Okay, so what we've actually done is we've just done one level of this, of the chicken here in breadcrumbs, because we don't want to overload it being newcomers to air frying. So we then put this into the air fryer. It makes a nice noise. It's selected and I reckon we probably just press go. Oh we haven't got the temperature. Temperature 195. 195. That's the right one for chicken. 12 minutes and we're gonna swap it halfway through. Go. Okay, so we're halfway through the cooking process, so we are just going to pause it. We're going to flick up the switch, pull out the thing, which is to turn the stuff over. Hang on, get back in there. Because you've got to turn it over halfway through on this recipe. It's, do you know what? It's been six minutes and it's already starting to get crispy yeah. on the outside here. One more to do. Right, now we put this back in. The air fryer is doing a very exciting countdown now. It's on 50 seconds. It does a second by second countdown till dinner, which adds a much needed bit of excitement to your meal. Very excited about this indeed. Uh, early impressions of the air fryer are very good. The way it works is that it circulates air quickly around there. So rather than putting it in hot oil, it's like is it a Maillard effect or something. That's what fries, mm. isn't it? Is that? <laughs> I've yeah. heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> so it does that. It goes around there very quickly cooks your food a bit like frying, but with none of the oil, and therefore, theoretically, being healthier. We're in the last 20 seconds, Steve, how are your feelings? How's your anticipation levels right now? I'm excited, I still don't completely understand it, how it can cook so fast, but. It will be disappointing if this comes out and is not nice, or isn't cooked, yeah. but I've got high hopes. I'm gonna get knife and fork ready to cut up stuff. That beep signifies the end of the air frying process, and now it's time to see the rewards. Oh my word. <laughs> it's absolutely magnificent, can you see that? Of course though, the true test will come from the eating process. These are quite big chunks of chicken, I wonder if I've done enough, we should check that we've done enough. It does feel, as I'm getting it out, it does feel very crispy already. Which is a good sign, that's what we're after. Only 12 minutes to cook as well. I don't think I'd... If I was doing chicken in the oven, I don't think I'd do 12 minutes, would you? No. 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 I'd do longer. But let's have a look and we'll see how it goes. Here's our plate of food. Oh, almost lost it. You just cut into one. Oh, perfectly <laughs> cooked there. Look at that! 
Go on, air fryer. I'm going to cut this bit in half. It's going to be very hot, this, Steve. Yeah. But... Right, there's a fork for you. Thanks. Let's try our air fried chicken. Cheers. Cheers. That's glorious. It's really good. That's really good. Just more. Mm. Yes, please. Mmm. I don't understand how it's happened. Mm. It's really crispy. Mm. I don't understand the magic of the air fryer. Someone knows more about air fryers than we do. Let us know. But that is genuinely fantastic. Use a bit of the ribbon sauce in with the yogurt to make the hot sauce yogurtiness for it. But that's absolutely. I'm going to see what else I'm going to air fry. I'm going to air fry everything. <laughs> Now, I've been living with the air fryer for about a week now and originally I said I'd do the review because I thought it'd be a bit weird and possibly funny but it turns out an air fryer is pretty much the greatest thing ever invented. So it turns out you can cook most things in an air fryer. I'll throw sausages in in the morning, chicken breast wrapped in bacon in the evening. It's great. Chips? You do chips. Any veg you can roast seems to work quite well. Brussels sprouts were a particular success for me the other day. Now I liked having an air fryer sent to me, so it gave me an idea. So I decided to get myself a PO box. I'll put the address in the description down below, but it means anyone can send me something if they want to. And we can have a look at what you've sent in, if people do. Have a little mailbag opening every now and then. It'll be fun. If you're a brand and you send me something that I like, I'll do a review on it. Or, if you pay me money, I'll say I like it, even if I don't. I'll even do that thing YouTubers do where they say, I actually do use this product, even though we all know they don't. Anyway, I hope this video inspires you and lets you know that if you follow your dreams, maybe one day someone will send you a free kitchen appliance. Thanks for watching.